Hi, African young people. Thank you for tuning in again. And last week we talked about uh, respecting uh, parents and uh, and the aspect of of respect in our in our society. And sometimes when you think about respect and the ills that we have in our society, sometimes people are behaving badly. Uh, there is corruption. Uh, people stealing from each other, people lying, deceiving, and all those things. And you wonder, why should we respect? I'm not saying that we should respect people at the expense of integrity, uh, at the expense of functions that we have um, as a society. But here's the thing. Respect is very, very, very important. And respect does not mean that you will not question what is happening that is not making sense. And respect does not mean that uh, you will just keep quiet when evil prevails. Respect does not mean that um, when you see something bad happening that you will just walk away and not do something about it. Respect actually is ensuring that a, uh, ensuring that a situation is functional and a situation is serving humanity and above all, uh, honoring God in that situation. Actually, by respecting someone, you can question. By respecting someone, you can contribute. By respecting someone, you can say no. By respecting someone, you can actually say, I choose to disagree, but I respect you. And that is very, very important because in a way, it creates boundaries for you. Now, here's the thing. I have met a few uh, young people who, uh, who ask, uh, I've been volunteering in this place uh, and I feel my boss is mistreating me, but I don't want to talk about it uh, because if I talk about it, I will, lose, uh, I will lose this opportunity. Now, here's the thing. By you not talking about it, by you not raising it in respect, you're actually enabling that environment so that someone else will go through what you're going through. And sometimes in life, it is important for us to choose that this will end with me. What do I mean? This will end with me where there is mistreatment. You can see that this will end with me. I will raise it and I choose not to control the other person, but to raise this issue so that it becomes, uh, so that the issue is, uh, is addressed uh, in, this, in this environment. Because what happens is that when you choose to keep quiet and not talk about some of these things, it becomes a challenge. And so when young people get distressed, let's say in a place of work or even studies, you're being pushed to perform in a certain way, and maybe you have not even attained the grade that has been stipulated by the school or even your parents, sometimes uh, young people we uh, end up uh, in, in substance abuse and sometimes even stress uh, and uh, depression and sometimes anxiety where there's lack of sleep and uh, sometimes you're just sitting at home watching series and uh, you watch like even 10 episodes um, the only thing that uh, that happens is you moving to go to the loop or even uh, getting something to eat but there is a way you can make your life constructive whereby you just sit and ask yourself, how am I feeling in this situation? Based on what is happening at home or even what is happening at work, how am I feeling about this situation? And if you're able to journey with how you feel about that situation, then it becomes uh, beneficial to you because you're able to identify what happens before you feel the way you're feeling. And what happens before you feel the way you're feeling, it's an external uh, experience and if you're able to, to identify that external experience and rectify that to break the cycle then it ends with you and some of us maybe it's a brother or even a sister or even a relative um, who is experiencing challenges in one way or the other and you're wondering where do I stand and sometimes it's even your parents who are fighting and you, you wonder who do I respect I would say it's good to respect both. It's hard to say that and it is painful to say that. But the most important thing is just know you are important. And it is very, very 
uh, important for you to create that boundary whereby you are able to identify how you feel, not just based on how, how other people uh, are behaving, but based on how you really feel about a situation. And how you feel about a situation, talk about it. And if you feel that your parent is not listening or even not hearing what you're saying, just pause a bit, then come back and have a conversation whereby you tell your parent, uh, I'm not sure you heard what I said, or I would really kindly ask you to give me your ear so that I tell you how, how I feel. And I know that there's some parents who are watching this. It is very, very important for you to have conversations with your children because we have noticed uh, recently that there are quite a number of young people who are going through depression. And majority, they come and say, we would want you to mentor our son, we would want you to, uh, our daughter to go through mentorship. And the challenge is, if the issue at home is not addressed, then it becomes a big challenge. And so for the young men who are watching us today, I want to invite you uh, for the Brave Hearts. And uh, it's, a, it's a journey for, for young men. And we believe that in this continent and in this nation, we will have a critical mass uh, of young men who believe that Africa can be different uh, socially, politically, economically, and uh, even spiritually. And so here is a call and I invite you, join the Brave Hearts and you can get to know more about Brave Hearts. Uh, the details will be uh, displayed at the end of this uh, clip. Thank you.